Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to share um, some information regarding, um, you know, extracurricular math. Yes, math is considered an extracurricular activity here in the US, not like a tuition system. But, uh, you know, like the way I look at it is similar to swimming, dancing, singing, mathing seems to be a trend here. Uh, so before I had kids, I didn't really understand like why, why are parents so into you know kumon and all these activities uh like supplemental math uh but yeah it but now now i now i realize you know why they go after all that especially if your kids are like very into math uh so my second grader you know one day she comes back from school saying mama i'm getting like super bored with math and that's when i realized you know that she she needs to be challenged more and that's when i got into thinking like what are the other ways uh, I could, you know, supplement her learning. So she develops that, you know, interest and liking for math, uh, you know, more than the, the goal is not really to, you know, to set her on a path to, to college, but it's, it's just to satisfy the need that she has right now, which is the math at school is boring and she wants to do more because she likes the idea of, you know, playing around with numbers. Um, and so yeah, that got us started on our mathing journey. <laughs> These are the Beast Academy books. Uh, it says 5B, but when we started, um, the level was uh, 2, so 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D. Um, you get, you can order these books from their website, beastacademy.com, or I think it's AOPS, Art of Problem Solving. So uh, at each grade level, they have um, four four parts, like A, B, C, and D. And there's a guidebook followed by a practice book the guidebook is like a you know comic book it follows a comic book style approach so the chapters are listed at the back um you know this is for fifth graders oops sorry about the zoom level okay so um i think each book has like three chapters that's how they break it down <clears throat> so for each chapter they explain the concept in a comic book style so there are these characters that they'll start to get familiar with and then these characters say something they it's like you know they attend a classroom they talk about numbers as a teacher it's a fun way of uh, presenting a concept again not every child may like it we didn't have any problem with our uh, now 10 year old so she she seemed to be she doesn't seem to mind you know reading this comic book so as soon as she's done with the uh, with reading the chapter i circle a few problems in the practice book now this is associated there's like a one-to-one -one mapping so for every chapter there there is a chapter here with with problems and all that and again like i said she would not do repetition so for every family of problems i randomly circle like one or two problems and she's happy doing those so this is a good mix of you know like basic basic school math uh word problems and all that as well as some puzzles so i think that is what I like about Beast Academy. So these are puzzles, so that promotes creative thinking, uh, creative thinking as well as critical thinking. So definitely check them out. Uh, you don't have to order all, all <coughs> you don't have to order all the, you know, books A through D. I think, I think each book is like $12, $12. So together 25, 25 times four is um, the 100, 110. I think that's what it comes to if you were to order the full set for each grade level but i'd say start with uh, you know the books a guide a and guide b uh, sorry guide and practice book for a for at your child's grade level see if they like it and then you can you know order more um so this this goes all the way until grade five after which aops has uh a more interactive um, learning so they have these online math classes like more advanced math at that point now beast academy also has like an a virtual portal i think there's an app but that is like entirely offline i don't think it is instructor driven or anything um, and it's probably free if you buy the set of books we we never really bothered checking out the app um because the books books are fine i think we we, we feel the books are enough and we don't want like additional screen time so that's our experience with beast academy we did series two three we skipped four because fourth grade she went to a private school and she had like absolutely no time um also in, in her fourth grade we wanted to try rsm i'm going to talk about that in a bit so i didn't get her uh books for her fourth grade and now she is going to fifth and we got them for summer she is um in chapter one of 
the B B book. So she is making good progress, and uh, we are happy. So after this, I plan on enrolling her in AOPS curriculum, uh, like the more the advanced math curriculum when she goes to the sixth grade. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Maybe there'll be we'll find new options. <laughs> Okay, I'm now going to talk about the math kangaroo test. Um, so my daughter took her first math kangaroo test when she was in the third grade. But um, in her second grade, when, you know, she was starting to express lack of interest in the school math, that's when I got her this book. Uh, this is from their website, math kangaroo website. So this is levels one and two. So math kangaroo can be taken uh, by six year old and above kids. So first graders and above. So I bought this book mainly, you know, as a practice book to see how interested she may be in math kangaroo because this is like one of those popular like a <laughs> well-known well-regarded math uh math tests competitive math test for elementary school students so before i officially sign her up and then both of us take the pressure of preparing and cracking the test i wanted to see if it's really for us so i got her this book for the first and second grader she did that as a second grader and uh yeah she she seemed to enjoy it or rather she never complained <laughs> which is which is good for the kids so i took that as a yes and signed her up uh for the third grader yeah when she was a third grader so i think the registration opens in september and it gets booked pretty fast especially you know when when they take the tests in person but now with the virtual centers open it's it's okay i think the registration runs through december so math kangaroo uh so yeah I've, I've heard you know some parents say okay so my child goes to kumon classes but she 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 struggled with math kangaroo or like my child goes to rsm and you know she couldn't really do well on math kangaroo so the way i look at it is it's like you know preparing the kid um for algebra and asking them to take a test in trigonometry so that's how different these are so yes everything is math one plus two plus three is always six <laughs> no matter if it is kumon math or rsm math or math kangaroo but the treatment of the problems are like very very different so these are very creative problems you know they're not straightforward you need to think and unless you practice and prepare when they see such problems for the very first time on the test they yeah they can be thrown a little off so these books are available on their website so if if you are serious about math kangaroo i'd say just invest in a book uh yes there is a shipping charge which is almost as high as the cost of the book but i think it's it's helpful you know if you can practice for three or four months ahead of the test well it depends on how regularly you practice so we like my child does used to do one paper every weekend so that's not like very regular um yeah again at, at a pace that's comfortable for you so definitely uh get these books if your kid wants to try math kangaroo so that's our experience so far so another another plus about math kangaroo is that um it's an individual test so you can register as a parent uh and your child can just show up at the test center or you know on the test day in front of her computer and take the test and all good but there are other competitive math tests so this is the math olympiad so this is school based uh so your school needs to be associated or signed up with them so you would your child would participate uh you know she would represent the school like as a team although there are individual scores so this is open for fourth graders and above at our school so my daughter did this in her fourth grade math kangaroo third and fourth grades um this one in her fourth grade so yeah she was she was with a, she was with a team of i think 10 other kids um they got a good team score she also got like a good individual score so that is how it works um i think there are like six papers one paper per month um yeah so it's like an ongoing thing unlike math kangaroo which is like a one day test you know you just take it on that day that's it so this is like an ongoing thing and uh I believe there's like a top score, best score, best of six, whatever. I I I, f I forget what the scoring system is. Um, so yeah, so this is these problems are different. You know, they are not the same. So this is like one category of math. This is like a slightly different category. Five problems per paper. So they do they get challenged on like five problems every time they take the test. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. This book again, it's like a question bank. From previous year uh, question papers I believe yeah so I got this on their website math olympiad and this this is like elementary and middle so buy this book once and if you want to you know keep taking this test uh, if it's offered by your school then this book helps 
so that is our math olympiad um this is team based like i mentioned and then we also did this test called the noetic so this is their website noeticlearning.com um it used to be team based the test used to be team based uh, last year at least but this time when i check they do uh, let individual sign up so yeah that gives you more flexibility so yeah there are two tests one in spring one in fall we did the fall test last year uh, you could register as an individual on their website there are team awards individual awards you know on national honor roll and so on okay so you can purchase practice papers from their website uh, we bought a set last year to help her you know prepare for the test uh, and th and that really helped you know the test was i wouldn't say easy but uh, it was a good experience so yeah thank you for watching uh, we hope this was informative let me know in the comment section below if you have like any specific questions about math mathing for elementary school kids here in the us because i think uh, we we tried a few options uh, so yeah i do have some some opinions on the different math programs and the competitive tests also yeah subscribe to our channel for more videos on travel kids activities um, gardening and many more see you soon bye bye